Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Kaylee. I'm one of Francisco's friends. Nice to meet you. Today we will be doing some unboxings that Francisco left me. Specifically, they will be Chainsaw Man unboxings. <laughs> For today, we have Power right here. We also have Denji as the next one. And also we have the Samurai Sword. I think from what I remember from the anime, his name is Katana Man. So we will be unboxing these gems today. So for Chainsaw Man, I'm only a anime watcher. I haven't read the manga, so please do not spoil me in the video. Please, no spoilers. I really like the anime. I thought the art style was really cool. The story was, I think, pretty decent too. So when they do have season two, I don't know when that will be coming out. When season two does come out, I will be looking forward to that as well. So let's get started today with some unboxings. Okay, first one will be with Power right here. Uh, I really do like Power. She is one of my favorite characters. I thought her character introduction was really funny. It was really cool. All right, on your knees, mortal scum, including so-called partners. You stand in the presence of power! She seems very energetic, and I very much love energetic anime characters. So let's unbox her really quick. So with this power figurine, there's many options for you to choose from. Okay, so at the moment, the power we have now, she's in this like kind of stance, very like, kind of like pow powery power stance right here. Her figurine is very flexible. Her sweater is on too. From what I can tell by these figurines, so you can change her face. You can change her hands. She also has like her little cat, Neko-chan, right here, which is really adorable. So we'll place him here for now. She also has her hammer that she uses from her blood powers as well. I think the hammer is really cool, actually. Oh, and she also has some other weapons as well. She has a tinier hammer right here. She also has a sword, or sword? Kind of a sword. I always get mixed up, so I don't know if it's a sword. It's kind of like a long knife, but I feel like there's always a special name for them. And there's also another one here too, as well. Okay, so looking at the box, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get her into some of these positions that are on the box right here, into some of these um, faces, into some of these stances too. So I think that'll be a fun little challenge and activity to do. So. Let's get started with that. <gasps> Pro tip, in order to remove her face, you have to remove her hair first. So let's be very careful. There we go. Be very careful with it. So the first one I'm going to try to do, it's I'm going to do her main power stance, like right here. So I'm going to try to do that one really quick. Her hair is so long too. I really like her hair. I might want to get my hair as long as hers, honestly. It, my hair is pretty long already, so we'll see. So now I'm gonna just change her hands. It's kind of like this a little bit. <laughs> so let me look for that hand, hold on. Okay, so yes, I got power into her first little stance right here. I think it's really cool. I really like the stance. It's very flexible. So that's the first one. So let's do another one. Um, I really want to try to use her hammer one, so I'll, I'll try the hammer one next. You can't see it now, but here's her little hand. Okay, <laughs> so let's try that one really quick. You know what's funny? I have to look at my hands really quick, so if I was her, if it was like... Okay, so my thumbs go to me. Yep, my thumbs go to me. Okay, perfect! Here we go. So now we have her with the hammer looking like this. Look at her! Oh my god, it actually looks really cool. <laughs> I really love the hammer look right here. So, and now I need her into the position where she's kind of like about to like attack. Okay, so I just have her in that certain stance. Here we go. So this is like a really, really, really cool stance right here. Uh, I don't know how you could get her to stand in it, but I think just like playing around, this stance is actually pretty cool. So I really do like the fact that this does come with different options. It comes with the hammer, it comes with her cat, it comes with the other weapons too. 
So you do have a lot of choices with her and like what kind of position you want her in. So overall, I really do like this a lot. This was really fun. Now we're gonna put her aside for now and we're gonna go focus on some of the other characters. Okay, so now that power is put aside, now let's focus on our next one, which is going to be Denji. <laughs> He doesn't really appear to have as many different options as power. Uh, this Denji, from what I can see, it's just him himself, and there's some other accessories that come with him too. So let's open up this one and see what we can do with him. I don't know what happened there. I'm so sorry, Denji. Okay, so I'm just getting him out right now. Okay, good, yeah. So from what I can tell, like I said, we have, oh wow, so we have four hands, we have his mouth, and we also have the cord. Is it the cord? Oh, no, 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 it's not the cord. It's his um, tie. We have his tie right here, too. Oh, no, <laughs> his mouth came off. <laughs> okay. And now he's, now he really looks like a chainsaw. <laughs> now he really looks like a chainsaw without the mouth on. So the chainsaw man now, wow, this is a little, very prickly actually. That's actually really scary and it's really cool. I'm going to put his mouth back on. Hold on. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that actually hurt. <laughs> You know, I always think I thought he was like so creepy, he was really scary, and now his figurine is even even more scary actually. <laughs> like kind of looking at it up close, it's so it's so in intriguing but also freaky at the same time. It's very frightening. So, let's see, can he stand? <laughs> All right. So now, just like with power, we're going to change him up a little bit. Let's take a look at the other accessories that they have. So just like with power, I'm going to take a look at the box, what kind of stuff we can do with him. So from what I can tell, uh, he doesn't really have so many options. I think what I'm going to do first is I really want to change the mouth. So one of the mouth is a is like open, it's wide open, it has his tongue out, kind of like this. So I'm going to change that one really quick. Okay, so it's all the way in now. All right, good. So what do I want him to do? I think this one, he doesn't really have fists. Our other options are the fists here. So we have one fist. We have another fist. So from what I can tell, if you pop this off like this, maybe. Ah, oh, interesting. So it's actually the hands. You can detach them one at a time, I think. Aha! I figured this out. That's actually a really cool design feature. <laughs> so now I'm going to get the fist. So let me untatch this one. Let me pull them apart. There we go. Okay, nice, good. So we have the fist of his chainsaw popping out. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right now but the fist is there i think it's a really cool feature to have the hands pop out one of the one at a time so let me pop out the other one can i pop it out ah! <laughs> oh no <laughs> Bing bong. when hands attack <laughs> oh no <laughs> that was really tr tricky i will say that that was really tricky all right so now he's handless, so let's put the other fist on him. All right, perfect. So we got the new face right here, and we also got the fist as well. So now I'm going to put him in a different stance. So the stance I see, so I'm going to try to do this one over here. So let me try that. So from what I can tell, his face is going this way. So this is what I was kind of going for from the box over here. I wanted him to go into like that stance of like he's ready to attack and everything, uh, looking like he's ready to like just eat someone or just like just kill something. I really do like this. I think um, this is like this Denji figurine is a lot of fun, but I think the power one is also really cool as well. Okay, so that's Denji's figurine character. 
Uh, like I said, there aren't that many options, but there are a lot of options just like with power to put him in different positions, move his arm around. Uh, this, this figurine is also very flexible too as well. I also really love the details of the chainsaw too. I think it's just really neat just how sharp it is. Like not sharp where it's gonna cut you, but you saw me before. I was in pain <laughs> when I like rolled my finger through it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's Denji's figurine right here. <laughs> so we're gonna put him aside now and we're gonna get on to the last one now. Okay, so now we're on to the last one, which is going to be the swordsman. Or sword? Samurai man? No, no, no. Samurai sword. Samurai sword devil, I think. But he's also known as the katana man. This man has so many names, honestly. And actually, out of all of the characters designs especially all the devil's designs i think his is the best in my opinion <laughs> so i'm gonna open this one up now i think he's the one out of the three who has the less amount of items and objects you can change around with but we're gonna check him out anyway just to see what he can do and see what poses we can get him in so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so let me unbox him now, so yes, and I was correct, so not as many items as Power and Denji, but we do still have some different options here, and I think it's going to be fun trying to get him into poses and positions too as well. Ah, so, oh, I think he's actually the biggest one out of Power and Denji's figurines too. I think this one is bigger. The cape! Oh my god, the material is really nice too, actually. <laughs> it's very like flowy, like an actual leather jacket, but it feels like the material feels really good. So just like with uh, Denji and Power's character, we're gonna switch him up a little bit. Uh, I think his, his design, like I said, not so many details. I'm gonna get him into one position first, which is of course the basic one. Compared to Denji and Power's figurines, I think he's the one that is uh, not so easy to move around in. So that is one position that he can do. Uh, let's try to get him in the harder position. Just like Denji, I'm gonna try to get him to like kneel a little, a little bit too. But I'm gonna remove his mouth anyway because you actually can, in this position, uh, his arms will be removed too. His arms? His hands, his hands, yeah. They are more like the hands that go like this, like a spider. Be very careful with this. I, I don't want you to get this and then try to break it. So please don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> and now we're gonna put the hat on right here. Okay, so now we got the new face on. But before we do that, I really wanna put on his new hands. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Ow! <laughs> Carefully turned into, I don't even know what happened, but I hurt myself. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sweating, honestly. <laughs> Why are you the most difficult one, honestly? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just want to get, and the next part is going to be even harder. <laughs> the position I want to get him in. Okay, so for this position, he is kneeling. So from what I can tell... Uh, we're gonna just do the pose really quick. So what he's doing in here, so on the box, it's like this and this. So he's kind of like, with his head down, kind of like showing off his sword in on his face. He's kind of like this. And he's kneeling. So we're gonna try to get him into that position, just to see how flexible he really is. And then his hand is kind of more like that, and it's more like this, possibly. So something like that. Oh my god, that actually looks really good! Okay, so it's not exactly the way I wanted it from the box. From what I could tell, he's more lower than in this one. Maybe because, um, I don't know if, it's just, if that's just how far he can possibly go, or if maybe that is the position and maybe the photo was angled a certain way, but overall I think he's really cool right now. I think this position is really neat too. So I really do like this 
figurine. I can see why there's not so many accessories with him because I, I hurt myself maybe like three, four times trying to put on a new face, fix his hands, uh, get him in this new position. And Denji's one is sharper, so I don't even understand how I only hurt myself once with Denji. Alright, so that is our unboxing for today. Please let me know in the comment section which one of these is your favorite, actually. Or, if you want to be more specific, uh, who's your favorite character from Chainsaw Man? So everyone, thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to comment, please don't forget to subscribe. Please hit a like on that like button down below. And I will see you next time. See you!